before, yeah, <laughs> before yeah. the set starts yeah, yeah, so, yeah, that I can, there. so that she doesn't have to worry about ads. Right. But hopping into this, we've got Rob versus Wolfie coming up here. Uh, who is Wolfie again? I, I'm, I'm bad with Wolfie names. Wolfie is the Sonic. Sonic. Yeah. Okay, Sonic versus Snake. A slower match today, but you know we're going to sure. just jump right into it. Yeah, this is, uh, is going to be a tough one for Rob. Wolfie coming in with a lot more snake practice than Rob has Sonic practice. Uh, very frequently playing against people like Grease Almighty, people like Sunny. Has a lot of practice against those uh, snakes, and not many Sonics to speak of in Michigan where Rob hails from. So I'm interested to see if uh, Rob is going to be kind of be able to figure out what Sonic can do quick yeah. enough to for it to matter. It's going to be a lot of adapting on the fly uh, yes. in these matchups, and I mean that's something that's so hard to do already. But and then in these top eight situations against a pair, uh, player with the caliber of uh, Wolfie, it's going to be significantly harder uh, than you would normally see it. Yeah, and especially Wolfie has uh, demonstrated proficiency using items, be it banana, be it grenades, all day. And that is not going to stop right now as he's already gotten those grenades in hand and used them to pressure pretty effectively so far. But as we're talking, Rob is doing a pretty good job matching the pace in terms of damage yeah. at least. 80% 80, 80 to 95 as that back air is going to connect. And this is where this matchup can get really gross. Snake's recovery, very slow, very lumbering. And Sonic, one of the best characters in the game at catching out those options. Yeah, I mean, Sonic can come back from so, so far. Yeah. Uh, even without a jump, it's crazy how far Sonic can come back from. So uh, especially recovery, like you said, with Snake, it's going to be the most challenging part of this matchup it feels like, because Snake is going to get a lot of damage regardless. Oh. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, if he goes low, he gets hit for it. If yeah. he goes high, the same story. you got to be very creative with your recoveries as Rob, which is something that he can struggle with sometimes. Yeah, for sure. But we'll see here. I mean, it, it's going to be nice. All right, able to sink in a up tilt. The thing that is really good when it comes to Snake is just that damage over time, right? Those uh -huh. nades just kind of always on that timer, always pulling them, and it's going to be something that is going to force Wolfie to kind of change the way he approaches. Um, but it's not going to be a lot if you're going to stuck under the lip of PS2 here. It's rough there. Trying to catch the air dodges, Wolfie, but Rob delays it just long enough to stay alive, but only for a moment. Wolfie chases him way up top with the back air, and that recovery looks brutal. Brutal. Yeah, that's an unfortunate way to go. I mean, the spring into the back air just right out of the cypher, that is tough. tough. But, I mean, not doing too bad. I mean, he's been able to keep up in damage outside of that uh, quick edge guard True. under the, the yeah. uh, lip there. So I'm not too, too worried, but this is where it gets hard, where you've got Sonic with a lead. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Both both these characters are very known for being disgusting with a lead. Yeah. Um, just for very different reasons. Rob going off stage, trying to make it back, does so successfully, resets, stuck in shield now, but he works it out, maybe able to get an extension off that grenade, just barely missing, but now Wolfie very firmly within that kill percentage. Rob could throw something out at any given time, so Wolfie has to be very careful, be on his tiptoes the whole time he's playing from here on out. Yeah, but I mean, the, the speed is so important here. And oh, okay, mm, man. Can just get right off. Ah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's terrifying. No. no, that's terrifying. I'm sorry. He that's so scary. Once more. <laughs> just a plethora of options on Sonic to go out there and get it. And hey, the C4 gets Rob back onto the stage to fight another day. Yeah. The back air helps him do that even more so. And now the spin dash into the neutral air is going to get it done for Wolfie. A very strong first game. Rob has a chance to adapt, though. Yeah, no, that uh, it, it's tough, but I mean, as long as he didn't get like caught under the lip there, I feel like yeah. that, that was going to be a lot closer than it was, because uh, he had a two-stock lead after that. It, mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to contest with that against Sonic, but I, I feel like Rob has a really good idea, a good game plan there. It's just about setting it into motion now, because it, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. Yeah, Rob came in prepared. He knows the general type of things that he needs to do. It's just about finding the right spots to implement those at this point. Because it's, it's not easy to be able to play your game against Sonic and against Wolfie, right? They're yeah. both very good at enforcing the way that they want to play the game. So if you come in with a game plan and you don't have a backup plan, it can get ugly pretty quickly. Yeah, so hopping in game number two here. Uh, we'll see what Rob is able to actually change in this. But, I mean, Wolfie's game plan is just going to be pretty solid all throughout. Yeah, it's all going to be about the way that Rob is able to pull those grenades and not get pressured too hard. Because one thing I do know about this matchup is that if Snake is hold, oh wait a minute, off stage trying to clean it out as Wolfie can't quite do it. The scramble continues. But yeah, if Snake is holding a grenade and shield. Sonic can actually hit the top of your shield in a way where it doesn't blow up the grenade, and you're still stuck in a shield, and it just got pressured, and you're off stage anyways. Can Rob make it back? A nice no, tech, he <laughs> but Wolfie is going to mix it up back here, send the other way, take that stock in very quick fashion. Yeah, no, nah, a swift, uh, swift first stock here in terms of Sonic. It's just so hard to get back. Yeah, uh, that's going to be 
we're going to see that a lot, and it's going to be just as hard to watch every single time. Yeah. Rob is going to have to dig pretty deep into his bag if he wants to be able to make it back on the stage. Mixing up the timing, the speed, the location. He's going to oh. have to do everything. I cannot believe that killed off that, the top. Why did but that the kill upper at the stocks. Yeah, I mean, sneaking in a stock there. Good stuff for Rob. We'll see if he's able to actually, you know, push this a little bit further because yeah. that is a cheeky way to take a stock. Yeah, those big momentum swings are going to be very necessary for Rob to find because Wolfie is always going to find them. Every time Rob's off stage, that's going to be a big shift in momentum. Yeah. It's going to be tough for him to get back. So Rob is just going to have to find a way to match that volatility that Wolfie inherently brings to the game. He's going to have to get really creative with Ed. You know, his kill setups and whatnot, because, I mean, Wolfie is doing such a good job avoiding nades and avoiding C4 and then just abusing him off stage. It's going to be, it's all about that creativity right now when it comes to Rob. Yeah. Going to have to uh, whip out the easel, maybe get some paintings going. Creative. Ooh. Ooh. Gets back off the homing attack somehow. Grenade might have saved him, but the forward arrow is going to send yeah. back off to the right side of the stage. Wolfie playing very well. Yeah, and that now we're back in the same position we were at that last game where Wolfie is in the lead and you know he he's playing a little bit more aggressively than I would see most Sonics, I feel like, but still, yeah. you know, super content to just sit back and let Rob play his game. Yeah, and the aggression makes sense in this matchup because the grenades can kind of pressure Sonic from afar, so it's not yeah. the safest thing ever. But Wolfie's been catching the grenades, throwing them back, and then following up almost like a Pikachu T Jolt. He's actually using that grenade conditioning against Rob, which is hard to see if you're a snake player. It must be terrifying as an item, like as a as somebody who plays a character with an item, to have your opponent pick up the item. Yeah, and like to actually right. do stuff with it. And then use it as good, if not better, than you have been using it. Yeah. It's, it's like he's bringing ideas to the table that you hadn't even considered yet. And now Rob trying to recover high. The up he catches him in pace, but Rob's able to air dodge. He's still stuck in the ringer, though. Tries to chase up high. Wolfie with an up air yeah, chases him super high and gets it done. A great game there from Wolfie. Yeah, I mean, Rob was able to avoid, you can only avoid so much for so long with a recovery like that right. against Sonic. Right. He was able to avoid the first back air, didn't get uh, hit by the sweet spot of the second back air, but unfortunately... Too many options. Too many options. Sonic has too, too many, many options. options when you are in that position, and unfortunately it's just going to spell the yeah. end of Rob there, but Wolfie looking super clean right now. Yeah, how many edge guards does Sonic have in stock? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Too many options. Too many. Too many. Too many. He can just chase you forever to the left, to the right, way up high. It doesn't. It, he can make it back so far. Yeah, he can get back from anywhere. He, he, so he can, can chase you all the way to the bottom blast zone and still make it back. I, I will say, I do love watching Sonic edge guard because it's like, damn, it's fun. He, he can do whatever he it's wants cool. out there. That's yeah. so cool. Hey. I hate it when it happens to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's very satisfying to yeah. watch the way that all the options are covered. It looks really good he, as Wolfie chases up top, sitting pretty. Yeah, uh, so for Rob able to get away from the ledge there. Let's see if he's able to actually do anything out of that. There's that down air out of shield, and ooh, good weight coming out from Wolf uh, from uh, Rob. Down tilt not going to connect. Robbie just trying to find any connection to open up big damage but it's just the Wolfie show so far. He's been the only one finding big hits, trying to chase up top with the up air again, but Rob with a well-placed air dodge to get himself back on stage, finds some advantage, but the homing tap breaks right through it. Yeah. We're seeing just a little bit of change coming out from Rob here. Uh, he's much more in the driver's seat this time, despite this uh, percent deficit. Yeah, true, true. Rob came through with a bit of extra aggression. We're seeing a playstyle switch more in the favor of nares and back airs, throwing out a lot more normals as the grenades were not going in his favor at all. I mean, those aerials last, especially back air, last for so long. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So if you can catch it at the right timing, it's really, really good. It can cover space forever, and I do imagine it might just be out spin dash. Yeah. So it's, it's a great move to throw out. Snake with no shortage of good normals, so I like to see Rob mixing up the options in favor of those. But uh, forward air is going to send Rob off stage, and now he's going to get have to get creative with these mm -hmm. uh, with the recoveries. But unfortunately, a back air is going to be yeah. the end of that. <laughs> yeah, and that's so scary because you saw there that he didn't air dodge, and I was like, "Oh, why isn't Rob air dodging?" If he air dodges, Wolfie can just see that float back and forward air him. It's yeah, the exact exactly. same option. It just delays the inevitable. It feels. Yeah, so it, it's tough, but I mean, oh, there's nice. the up tilt. All right. Tilt. Yeah, Rob's right. sticking very close. As much as Snake being off stage is just an execution check on Sonic, you, it, you do have your options to make that execution check harder and harder as the game right, goes right, on. Right. Rob trying to expend all of those as he does eat another back air. Tries to counter with a C4, can't find it though, as Wolfie putting him in the corner and keeping him there for a long time. Yeah. I mean, he's got this platform locked down right now with the nades and is doing... I yeah. love this gameplay switch. That was, that was some great platform pressure for Rob. He just kind of stood there, built his house up, 
<laughs> Looking harder and harder to break into as Wolfie. That's a great parry, though. Good timing. Yeah. Fantastic parry, and we'll see how much he's able to get off of it. Gets the spin dash into the forward air. Now we're sitting on ledge against Sonic, and there's Ooh. the forward smash. <laughs> That's a great F smash. And he got a lot off of that parry, as we mentioned. Yeah. Got him off stage, and that is about all you need in this matchup. Nikita chasing, goes off stage. The back air connects Rob. An advantage, but the get up attack swipes him right out. Yeah, just barely. Just got a little too close for comfort there. Oh. And oh, okay. Well, the Sonics? Wait a minute. Does he make it back? Yes, he does. He does make it back. It's just Sonic. Because he can do anything. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> As we've covered before, great up tilt. Very well timed on Rob's part. And we're going to bring it to even stocks here, but it is very much. The ball's very much in Rob's court to try and sway yeah. the momentum here. I mean, this is the first time we've seen even stock count on the last stock. Yeah. I believe, right? Yeah, so yeah. This I think it's is, been two, two stocks. Yeah, this is a really good shift for Rob. Let's yeah. see if he can actually keep it up, though, because. It's going to be, it's going to be challenging. It's hard to stay composed, right? Yeah. You, have, you have your first chance to take a game with a whole set, so it is going to be up to Rob to be composed here, stay calm, and do what you got to do. Not go off stage yet again, because Wolfie has been covering that way too consistently. Nice job. Yeah, I'm just trying to see like this small stuff here because it's, it's Oof. a lot of it might look similar, but it's a lot of like micro changes, you know. And that F smash barely missing. Chasing with two grenades. Rob had a chance to up there, but couldn't find the connection. Some good disadvantage play from Wolfie. Now the spin dash in the corner. Time definitely not going to be a factor in this game. Chasing way out is Wolfie. This is where Rob's been having a hard time. The C4 going to... Oh, oh couldn't bring him back. He was too high. Uh, Unfortunate way to end it for Robbie, but Wolfie with a very consistent, very solid game. Made very few mistakes, and it showed in the result. Yeah, wow. I mean... You could see there again the uh, a little bit more creativity trying to make it back, not going straight for the ledge like he had been yeah. a few times that, uh, and not going too high, going for the C4 placement. Mm. But unfortunately, sometimes you know it, it's just the curse of a snake player. You're gonna yeah. you're gonna blow yourself up a lot, and sometimes it's gonna be you know it's gonna be the set. Yeah, and it's one of those things where if you're like so unexperienced trying to recover in those unorthodox mm. ways, you kind of have to figure it out in bracket, yeah. and you're like too scared to try it at the beginning of the set, and then you realize by the end of the set that you have to try it, and then it's too late because you haven't gotten the reps and you haven't practiced it. Yep. And it can just lead to a really rough set of circumstances once you're constantly getting put up against that wall by Sonic. Yeah. But you're not gonna get better at those situations until you actually have to take exactly. those risks. So yeah. good, st 